in my computer wait, if you want. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna hold the road? Yeah. No, we're just basically blocking it off and then pushing it. Or I can just so go and look and make sure they're not civilian. And then after a while, we'll start like throwing a lot of QRF at them. Op isn't too hard. Okay. Uh, At least it shouldn't be. I do that to force him into the jungle. Uh, no storm, it's now the T3 op. Now! Let's pull you guys. Get you guys chatting. Capital F if you think they're going to be able to get the intel, take a hostage, and maybe find CSAT. Or lowercase f if they're all going to die. I'll leave it up to you. These are my best of the best. Probably the best player base I know. Just play, just like fucking plug them in and it's looking neck and neck. Play, three play. yes, three no. What a harsh crowd. Okay. Now the lower Fs are coming in, but capital F comes in to even it back. We're still up, I think, two lowercase Fs. Capital F comes in, but it's cancel out by lowercase F. We are up. Three lowercase f's now. Now back down to two. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Bad Wolf did try to ninja someone an hour ago and hopelessly failed. Well, if you wait, you'll see the bad. Yeah, I know, Nemesis. They're just too smooth. <laughs> yeah, Adam recon this. It's just civvies with goats. Top cack. Oh, and Storm counters all the lowercase f with, like, five uppercase f's, and I guess that just evens it back to zero. I don't know. I never learned to read. Oh, but Chow counters with, like, ten lower, and then Red Kiwi counters with counter. As you can see, it's 50-50 at this point. Forget your radio. One, two, seven. Just waiting for them to deploy. Is mine set to 50? No, it's not. That would explain a lot. All right, we're moving. This is high, assigned into 50. Good copy, hi. Be advised, for uh, Team 1 and 2 are uh, on the move. I might go play an 89th up at 6.45. Let's see, they've picked two transport Humvees. So I have no plans of using the uh, HMG or GMG as force multipliers, that's fair gonna go ahead and hide myself as Zeus I'm only gonna let them know CSATs here if they do this flawlessly yeah 89 stress company <laughs> I can give an amen to that any update on op 4 roster op 4 for what enemy forces haven't added anything and just Boko Harambe's and some CSAT dudes. And the question of why are the CSAT dudes there? But hey, if they capture one alive, they might get something out of him. But he'll probably be resistant to interrogation. Is our intention really to drive down the road straight out the fucking dismount point? Because that's a bad idea. It is a bad idea. Don't worry, we will be breaking off past the town. Confirm your call. Out. 
Well, they're driving through the jungles. I would have just, like, picked some open road and gone on the side, but hey, that's just me. So it might take him a hot second to get there. Three minutes from stepping up on base, like pounds change, like the fuck's going on. Sorry, say again. Like three minutes from fucking yeah, stepping up on base. Yeah, two squads of six. Like pounds aren't been fucking Quite a bit. Like the fuck's going on. We are just adjusting off the road, as you, uh, as said. All right. All right. I'm gonna set some stuff up. Number one. Let's get a truck out. First off, a Land Rover. Basically everything I could potentially spawn in this QRF I'm gonna put over here. Yeah, it should be good. Uh, let's see. Infantry, Middle Eastern, Boko, there we go. Everyone but the medic. So we've got a team of seven back here, which is weird because that is an extra seat, but I think it's just bugged. You good? <laughs> you good? I just jumped out of my fucking seat. <laughs> yep. Yeah, box of bags that we fucking want. Ready for all? Yep. Got yeah, me to uh, that, TP you uh, back, Wolf. I just jumped out of my fucking seat. Like, I'm. <laughs> Holy fuck. We are moving to the position we will uh, <laughs> hold there for you. How can I Or is it game over for you? This is high play on. Uh, Wolf got bloodlusted. I'll let you know when he's ready for a TP. Fuck rocks. <laughs> These rocks are fucking ninjas, man. They'll just murder your vehicle. Out of my chair. <laughs> scared the shit out of me. I'm sitting here like focusing and I just eat shit. <laughs> so, I'm I'm you of course I'm gonna mulligan that. Yeah, that's. I won't mulligan it in ops because. But how do I put it? For like armored vehicles and stuff, I won't mulligan it, but I might actually start mulliganing it because I trust the threes more than, you know, some Has, guys booping I didn't a bit. copy you last, please repeat. I feel like a block line, right. that's a rough time, but we're taking up in a fucking with the road as best we can. Hey, Az, can you uh, slow down for a sec? Yeah, sure. Alright, give me five seconds. All fast. Be advised, fun, mountain has confirmed the roads clear up to the dismount, so... Well, if I can spook Wolf with, uh, with rocks that can insta-kill your vehicle, because map assets... It's good enough for me. Uh, Leo, I don't know if you can fix it on, on your end, but apparently we're all invisible. That's weird. I don't know what I can do about that. I could try toggling your hide coefficient, but I think it's client side, because to me you're all fine. Oh, damn. It's client side. Malin just exploded. Guys can't see each other, and we can't really operate with if we can't see. So, uh, what happened there, yeah. champ? I, I feel great right now. Yeah, hold on. What, what happened to you? That was fucking hilarious, folks. <laughs> Did you just, like, explode? 
you want me to TP you back? Oh, I don't even have my fucking... Okay. Since everyone wants to mulligan today and just explode? I, I don't know. You, I don't mind if you bring me in or not because that was a fair frag. It's up to you. I mean, it's do you want to keep playing, yes or no? Relatively, yeah. <laughs> okay, then shut the fuck up. Have fun. Thank you. Team 2, be advised, we've run into a couple of uh, uh, gunmen. We took them down, we're moving to dismount time now. As this is high, best I can do is have you all respawn and I'll put a quick teleport pull down. Yeah, that'll do, mate. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome. So just shot. find a place to hunker down real quick. Uh, we'll put it down, we'll put the big down at that dismount marker on map, mate. Alright, just let me know, cause... I have to coordinate something. Hey, fam. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, do it. Hey, here, I know you're retarded, but there you go. So one of them got shot. Are they respawning? Alright, one sec. Uh, you gotta love Zeusing, you gotta remember, is a bit of debugging, too. So if they're all invisible to each other, then... Team 2, this is Team 1. Copy. Be advised, this is high. Team 2 is currently respawning, because they're all apparently invisible to each other, so they'll be back on station about a mic. Let's, uh, let's give Solid more copy. More Should we hold until technical issues are solved? That is up to you. Out. Did you guys not save your kits or something? No, I saved the kit, it's just I changed the kit from the last stop. Cack. So I saved a kit from last stop, but no, then I, I didn't changed I, my, the kit for this My stop. kit reset after fucking... I mean, you could just go back to your body and grab your kit. Because yeah, your bodies are there. Uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna do that, fuck it. Yeah. Logic. Now, the reason I'm being a bit anal about this is I don't want I'm them... I'm going to bring anything I don't have off that body. Yeah, so. that's fair. The, the thing is, it's because um, I don't... I've had Especially some issues really. in the past with some people. Not saying it's these guys, but some people, when they get a respawn like this, they get different gear. Your your kit is on the ground if you need it. Let's go. Oh, did you put a pole? Yep. And, um, I get annoyed. Same reason why I don't like personal arsenal, because, you know, it, it really fucks the game. Uh, this is team one, be advised. Because we part of the fun, I think, for the these types of ops is when you, uh, town, we are moving if you get into now. an AO and realize you packed so in properly uh, for it, how do you make the best out of what you have? And, you know, if you give people arsenals, then... They'll bring extra, and it'll get messy, and... Yadi da. But yeah, they can just loot off of their bodies, so... Mulligans are done. Now, if they die, I ain't being nice about it. Mountain's death, though, I could have ruled either way. Um, I'm just in a good mood, I guess, because usually I count that, but... I thought it might have been a glitch, because, again, I was on the mind of they just all blew up to a rock, so... You know. Just we were thinking... So I'm going to say they didn't hear those gunshots and no one's on the radio right now, but if they get back in that car, they can get in the radio and say that something's coming. This let's team's uh, coming around. Well, we? They're going really slow. And they're going to avoid every rock that they can because the rocks apparently make you instantly explode. Ain't that great. That's really nice terrain. Not going to lie. Uh, this map, it's uh, relatively new on Kajari, or at least new to me. Foo, little <laughs> lost attraction there, but I really like the terrain. Like this is really fun terrain to fight because all these little rolling hills, the little jungle—it's not too thick of a jungle to be laggy, 
but it's enough to make you feel like, you know, you're in some sort of forest. Team 2, Team 1. Go ahead. Right, that second dismount marker, like, the furthest south. So I copy, we're uh, moving on foot. We have goats in the AO, don't you worry. I'm gonna set these guys to careless hold fire, cause, uh, because when the shooting starts, I'm gonna have them go to markers. ambient animation. I'm gonna go ahead, delete those guys, optimize those frames as best I can. Let this guy uh, come on in the back. That guy's not gonna be deletable until the gunner gets in. <clears throat> this team deployed way far back. But yeah, this vehicle's gonna come in and basically tell everybody that bad boys are coming. We got this four-man team, though, that's just patrolling. This is why I like these hills. They're within about 20 uh, meters from each other. It's closing team, to 10. Team, team, one more way for your black flag. They're right next to each other. Oh, I just advised her in the phone call. Oh, hide on. So I copy. 30 minutes from now, so about 9 o'clock is when I'll pull out the CSAT dudes. Pull that vehicle up. Driver and gunner are back on that one. I'll pull this one around as well. So they really need to get some distance from the road. This one has Sniper and Pogo. So we're actually at a team of 5 and 7, not a 6-6 six, six split. That's interesting to note. And I'm going to immediately send up one of these and just team have one, these guys two, come up and uh, dismount. Control, uh, four so I copy, keep pushing in. If you run into too much contact, do not uh, stop pushing. Right, I'm going to copy point. paste these guys because they're not too far away from you. Taking yeah, a hot minute. Up, please. Have them get out, and then this group I'll have pull back to uh, where the gunfire uh, gunfire was. And it was close enough C sets. Yeah, I'm gonna start thinking about pulling out here because those shots were audible. But again, to make it fair, we have that 30 minute timer. So technically, nine o'clock is when I'll start doing the actions to pull them out, but they'll leave by like 9:30. Ooh, that was really really close. Well, that gunner ate shit. Gonna have these guys pull around. And I'm thinking every uh, eight team minutes, one, give or take, I'll, uh, Nissan technical is a bit disabled. For some reinforcement stuff. Sorry, copy. We're taking care of it. Every every five to ten, we'll bring some. As if you know, QRF was coming around. That car I'm going to bring out right there. Reinforcements coming around. I'm going to keep that group. Team. This group will keep moving around Team like be that. We're coming in at six. And here's what I'm going to have this. I was going to have a, a suppressed fire, but it looks like they just outright sniped this poor bastard and got both the driver and the gunner. So, oof to that. <laughs> But by now, if people aren't aggroed already, I'm going to start aggroing people. Choose a flag now. So I copy, we're on your six. I hope I won't proceed on tasking. Try to have the civs run for their fucking lives. As they're being told, hey, gunshots! Run! Yeah, just delete their markers. False. <clears throat> We're gonna have them uh, hiding. T2 
Team 2, this is Team 1. Uh, you're splitting north towards the objective marker. Hey, fam. Some more shots being heard. Series intermixed with uh, hostiles. If they're in a good way, don't be afraid to pop them. So keep, it, keep in mind that the, the civs were civilians hit. are currently neutral in this conflict, but tr so try not to leg them. To the fucking firefight, then they've already signed a death wish. Yeah, so that was just pathing, to be honest. Nothing I could do about that. I try to avoid it, uh, scenarios like that, but you know, AI will be AI. Here, you guys wanted some more goats in here, so I'll throw some goats down. We'll say they were pulled out of a building or something. One of those guys getting awfully close to the op four, and he gets one tapped. I heard a little click. Set that group to automatic. Let's get. On a Nissan technical up. Include the crew. Shut down. Try to have him come down like this, and then get this vehicle, Control shift c Control shift v to copy all the guys inside. And we'll have a get-out marker right there. And then waypoint up to here for a seek and destroy on the top right. These guys are going to follow those gunshots, so we're going to have them all break apart. And this is where the last thing of gunfire was heard. So, we're going to update all of those to be Seek and Destroy as well. Team 2 to Team 1, we're going to be pushed up to that northeast side. Push towards the target. So, I copy. We are on the southern uh, part of the town. We're going to move to block it. Yeah, those two recruit that uh, technical. So, we're hearing gunshots over here. around Get it. didn't mean to do the drag glitch there because if you saw the units got booped over a bit to the left <clears throat> happens a few times a week I'd say once every like three days not the seat I wanted you to get in Beep. Team 1 to Team 2, be advised there is a squad sized element moving into the intel compound uh, times now. Direction. From the east. Street more or less. That Vic. I hate how they, the AI don't like to drive it sometimes when you recruit it like that, but you know, it just quick reboot. Team 2. Technical, Northwest. So I'll teleport myself up here. These guys have set up a blocking position, but they're all looking north right now. I don't know how, but the truck's gone in front of that vehicle. Most of my reinforcements just died. Driver and gunner were shot. Team 1, you're taking contact from your southwest, times now. Solid copy, we're holding off Sims reinforcements out, so uh, from both south and southwest. Proceed with your mission. Hey, Fem, you, you're pretty accurate on that intel mark, correct? Hey, firm. We are holding the southern part. Oh yeah, this is Boko's territory. They're gonna swarm this place. I'm gonna have another truck from the neighboring town over here, this position, come over. And we're going to go ahead...
put the get out marker a little further back, like in the middle of the road. That way they can easily get hit and then waypoint these guys seek and destroy. So when they get out of the vehicle, they can then seek and destroy. That's one of the newer tactics I've learned. So this three-man team still effective. They've flanked a little to the left and now they're suppressing these guys up here. So this is the seven-man team for, yep, seven people doing a blocking position. The rest of these guys are slowly breaching and clearing this area. I'm gonna go ahead and ungarrison that guy. Watch him like a hawk just to make sure he doesn't like go through a wall or something because that would be pretty gay. They're working on killer right now. Oh, I was going to see if I could have him, like, go around. Oh, he just fucking spoke, so... Wolf Team knows he's there Team now. Team 1, what's your status? Uh, all at the moment. You got contacts pushing in from the fucking south, uh, I presume. A firm, don't worry yeah, about that it. Vehicle just we're we're that gonna one. Uh, hold them off while you get with it. Uh, if you need more people, I can... As uh, Wolf pulled out, shot that guy. It looks like the door actually opened. So that was nice to see. As Araya no, wins the gunfight with that guy, I'm good. Just okay, took something to the arm. He's tourniqueting, which means he was hit multiple times. Shots not first. This guy trying to ping Danny. Be advised, Land Rover coming in northwest. He gets pinged. West. Also east. Guys, have eyes on that Land Rover. I hope it's in defile, but they're gonna start getting out. Eyes on Intel, just uh, in the fucking compound over to the east. 17 minutes. Do, uh, PKMs the lot. I'm gonna have this guy ungarrison. Yeah, I'm pushing. Right. I'm gonna try to collapse to the I'm Intel site. The eyes on Intel site right now, just fucking going out. Solid copy. So two are breaking south, five are heading up. See, when we have only this many people on the ground and this many AI, you actually see the AI's tactics start to work. So they're sending two to flank around on the right on the people they know down there, and the rest are going down to the route itself. Yeah, that's unfortunate. This is how they can cover more territory. Let's push. Me and Kilo set up Overwatch. Right. That's what I like about the uh, AI skill. Now, we're gonna have this turn into a kill zone again for more guys for these dudes to shoot at. So, I'm gonna use African militia for this one. Kind of show that, you know, Boko has multiple factions working here. So, I copy Team 1 is moving into the PKM technical mark. And then vary this around. Reference grid, uh, one, three, five, so if you want one, them to move eight. quickly, you separate them all. If Stop you want them to move tactically, you keep them in the squad. But also, when you have them all stay in the same squad, they uh, it'll hurt the server. So it copy. What's the intel about? So they only got one piece of intel. Hey, for just some reference to set. No additional notes. So it copy. We need to act on that immediately. So they found the site. So I'll get my guys pulling. But they didn't get the other piece of intel. I don't think they're taking any hostages either. So actually, so I copy. Can you commandeer some vehicles in the town? They got 14 minutes to figure this out. It's probably a smarter idea to fucking hoof on foot. I will defer to you on this one. Send this back up. So yeah, that group's been mostly taken out. These guys actually left that uh, perfect place to make this into a kill zone, so these guys are running up instead. Second team two. Team 2 is proceeding 
westbound on the fault. It's a shame because the intel was um, so basically the other piece. Uh, proceeding westbound as well. We're Not sure we're if they found that one or that one, two, but. 300 meters south of you. Uh, I'll ask him in debrief because one of them talks about what Boko Haram's capabilities are, and it'll say that Boko Haram isn't just Boko Haram, they're also Islamic State units and African militia units. And, you know, they can field up to, you know, T-55s, a few T-72s. They also have a handful of helicopters in the form of Hellcats, or Wildcats, whatever they're called. You can hear that bitch coming. But I think I'll probably try to get the officer out. I'll do a remote, but I'll leave the uh, guards. Team 2, Zerg off, okay, armor inbound. There's triple one three, you can shoot the gunner out, but it's better if you AT it. Or, you know, they can just ignore it. It's whatever they feel like. You got a 136 launcher out. Single shot. She is primed. I see her sights up. His back blast is clear. It's an interesting setup with his beret, how his thing's wrapped around. They're also prepping their law. Team 1, uh, Team 2, they got fucking out there. 1 3 inbound to the fucking town. Recommending to pull the fuck out. Solid copy, we're gonna engage it. Great hit. And let's send the angry people around where we heard those explosions. I'm all freeze dead. Solid copy, good job. Looks like the AI are paralyzed in fear. Ten minutes. It's gonna be close. Hey, I know you guys are like paralyzed in fear Into and shit. this team one, the advisor drone guy will be feeding uh, information about the next objective uh, starting from now. Solid, you guys got spare signals here. Yeah, we do. There we go. Right, because we're fucking black, mate. Send one of your guys over to us. They're gonna be able to pull out. Oh yeah, these guys know something's up. Uh, helipad. Helipad invisible. Perfect. Team two, this is team one. Uh, if you're inquiring, but uh, about the AT ammo, we'll, the we can are you? spare some when we stop. Are you like a? More balanced oh, cashman or something? It's kind of cool. Can we put people in you? Do you fit, men? No, you are just like a little recon thingy. Okay, cool. Helicopter. I don't think there's anything else. I don't want to use a cashman, so we'll use an orca. Yeah, look, you guys that's what means. A firm, our rear guard uh, caught some uh, heat. Hey, oh, wait, he did? Yeah. We'll just kind of send them to follow up. Uh, let's see. Let's. I'm going to say they're going to panic. And he's going to bring some QRF up to kind of defend that position. Close. Thanks for security purposes as they work on some quote unquote engine trouble. 
I'll team two's holding here for now if you want to fucking give us some AT, that'd be appreciated. Alright, nine minutes. Solid sending the guy. So X key is really useful to help you like rebalance that in case he tips over because I hate it when the turrets tip over. And let's go ahead and get rid of all these bodies. Get rid of the civilians too. We can leave a few for ambience. They shot all the goats! Those bastards. Ah, uh, nah, people just, it's a meme in my op for people to execute the goats because they're the anti-meme squad. Seven minutes, they pulled up a Humvee. All right. YouTube's down again? Oh, lol. Fucking team one. Second fucking time ever now? Bringing the pickup in the bridge just in case we have to execute any fucking hostages and shit like that. It's standard T3 ROE <laughs> Sorry, to kill all the goats. <laughs> Not bad. You always run up and teabag the goats. Well, thank you. That's that's great to know. Basically, I'm gonna have these guys go up the main road. Uh, team two, we have one more disposable AT stick if you need. These guys' orders will be to fall over to this compound as this group makes repairs, quote unquote. I will uh, yeah, you could just go and fucking get me by the- just drop it to me by the pick. Uh, go find Bad Wolf. He has it. Confirm me! Have them get out right there. Amadeit Asturan! Shut down! Or do we have an engineer dude bomber? I think the bomber will know how to fix engines. And they'll get out and fix it. Team to be advised, 60 man patrol coming towards us. Understood. Have these guys come up and sweep the perimeter. These two guys are still running that security. Here, I'm going to say the off-road, uh, two off-roads that close together is a bit too much because I have a third one right there, so try to even it out. How about not uh, killing all the goats? It's, that's horrible. No. Absolutely not. All right, so people are saying YouTube's up. I guess people are just having some client-side issues. All right, so Granite decides to fire first. Keep moving, keep moving. We will suppress and uh, provide the Five support. Five minutes. It's gonna be close. Hey, fam, one moving. Team, I got a pick inbound. Are you crippled or being retarded? You're being retarded. Sounds like fucking real technical. I was thinking maybe they're crippled, in which case, you know, to repaste them like that wouldn't be a good idea, but nah, they're just retarded. Prone locked. Out. Where's my repair vehicle? Ah, get up there! Hashtag save the CSAT! Team 1 got eyes on at least fucking 8 times in bad team from the west, oh. we're just letting them move past us. 
These guys are all good. I just heard some with a weapon jam. Ah! Must be about the three minute range now. This team's moving in. Danny just took a shot. How do we give a hint? Team 2 took out that fucking sweat I called out. Second Team 2. Fucking took out that squad that we mentioned. Is that car ready? No? Well shit, it better be ready in a moment. See, with all this RC, it's gonna take me quite a few moments to get everyone out. Seem to be advised, we are pushing northwest. Also, be advised. Quick! Drive away! Puppy's got a kick. Rock! Oh, thank God the bush broke us from uh, hitting the rock, because the rock would have killed us. Team 2, be advised, we are north of the compound, uh, currently moving in. Nothing stalls easily. Beep beep me. Team two, did you deploy a darter drone? the darter uh, drone we're gonna destroy then oh shit fam I'm gonna get the fuck out of here in this slow ass truck oh that's an arm dude ah! holy fuck Tap yourself, I was fucking CSAT dudes in here, the fuck? Yep, yep. 
Probably That's the drone we were up. Probably will pass up the high. That was actually their drone right there. All forces be advised to uh, Malon has come in here to be here. High advisor. Gonna have to check him back. Temperate. So copy. Hi, do you co do you copy? Yeah, he's fucked up. He's trying to go back. This is hi, Sun Traffic. Sorry, we're having some uh, communication issues. Over. Oh no. <laughs> Usually, when I say that, it means I'm about to ambush them. Uh This is, hi, sorry, Todd from accounting, uh, or excuse me, logistics, uh, accidentally kicked the pole too hard. I hear you five by five now. Please, uh, say again your transmission, over. <laughs> hi, I uh, don't know if you can hear me, but this is fucking team two, got confirmation, CSAT presence of the AO, one uh, data drone, CSAT camera. At is... a K-52, K one armed. Advise your next uh, motives. This is high. Say again? CSAT confirmed operating in the area. One on up K52. CSAT camera to fucking data advisory, please. Ready for orders. Uh, this is on high. Line. Roger, wait one. Standing by. Copy. This is high. Can you uh, confirm CSAT? I've uh, confirmed 1K52 one armed, one data uh, from fucking CSAT camera pattern, and also got reports of fucking CSAT camera pattern on infantry. Solid. Alright. Uh, if you can, salvage the drone. Uh, salvage any CSAT bodies you find for their uniform. Uh, I just called up my COC and I hear Apaches mobilizing outside so yeah uh, just grab what you can and pull back team what can you do with that uh, a firm they said the C word <laughs> NATO and C sad uh, going team at it two, like be advised, we have a battle has grabbed the boat beret of the guy that was running away and the uh, drone remains with him. I think that's all we can salvage here. He got the drone fully intact. That was accounting. I, I had it my I always use something like from accounting because I always make like anti accounting jokes, but Yeah. See if I can have a cut right in time. Uh, hi, this is Team Two. Can we get confirmation about why fucking eight sixty four is in the air? This is hi. Uh, apparently CSAT's a buzzword with my CO. I told you there were some Apaches spewing up outside. I'm willing to bet they're over your jurisdiction right now. 
Confirm we are exfilling from the AO times now. Team 2, high, be advised we are exfilling via captured BTR 60. This is high, solid copy. You might want to kill that guy in front of you. You might want to kill that guy in front of you real quick. <coughs> Cuz he's got an RPG. Oh, that was That was pretty funny. On the way. Roger that. Uh, hi to Ground Force. Be advised Apaches are going to escort the BTR back at this time. Solid copy. Pass my regards. Chair Force. Kind of a cool shot. Uh, no, Arma 3 is not free to play. Bohe uh, Bohemia has to make money. Copy that. Understood. Roger. Solid copy. All right, everyone on this net. This is high. We're uh, index at this time. So you copy. So Apache escort back. Again, I told these guys I'm trying to step up my campaign uh, job here because they want to try a full-on campaign again. So I'm like, yeah, sure, we'll do a campaign. So this is where the plot will thicken. Yay! All right. So all in all, very well done. Uh, no casualties except the beginning when I mulliganed off of Malin, and uh, yeah. Uh, you got in there literally, uh, like, at the nick of it. Uh, sorry, I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, so you, uh, hit the first compound. How many pieces of intel did you get? Did you just get the one piece of intel, uh, yeah, saying the position? Piece. Just the one? All right. There was, uh, a second piece in there talking about some other stuff, but that's fine. Um, and then you went up to the compound. You, uh, I didn't expect the CSAT drone to do that, but okay. Uh, you captured it fully <laughs> intact, so that's gonna, I'll figure out a way to work that into the little campaign I'm making here. And, uh, you killed the officer guy, so we'll go inspect him and figure out who he is, uh... We also got his beret and his gun. Yep, yep, so... Like, if it was supposed to be, like, a fucking catch or kill order, like, fucking catching him, like, he just fucking runs straight through a flashbang, so it's just, like... Yeah, he ran right through a bang yeah. put in his mouth. So and I yelled just... at him to don't do it, put it down, and everything, and he just, you, you just, he just panics. <laughs> yeah, yeah I was like, he was hey, supposed he to be captured. Yeah. yeah, no, no, uh, he was, he was, uh, capture or kill. Uh, none of these guys in the op were like, you know, you were forced to capture, because I, I would hope you guys know if I need were you to capture. Were you seeing the bank, that, that, that guy? Yeah, um, I, I couldn't. see the flashbang? Uh, no. Send in go Yeah, I definitely detonated right next now. to that guy. Because I, I know, um, I know when you are seeing, maybe I wasn't looking at it properly or something. Yeah. It probably wasn't in his cone of vision, so... Yeah, yeah. but the bang part... Yeah. It would have definitely anyway, disorientated whatever. him. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. I'm proceeding. Yep. Uh, oh, just on. note on that guy, like, if I want you to capture somebody, like, if it needs to be captured, I'll make sure, like, it's, an e like, a fair scenario, you know? But I'm just, I'm just trying to make a plot, so, um... Yeah. Yeah, um, shit happens... NATO scrambled, because, you know, NATO and CSAT following, you know, the 2035 campaign shenanigans. They're the both superpowers going off right now, so obviously when one's involved, one's probably involved in the shadows somewhere, so. Yeah, um, just, again, you guys wanted me to kind of step up my game for this stuff, so I'm trying to, you know, do just that. So, I uh, hope you guys had fun. Uh, again, really well executed. It was a good and, uh, yeah, hope mm -hmm. you had fun. Yeah, thanks for the up, Leo. Go on, as people can have been saying. 
time you are unable to say team wise debrief. Oh, Salaru, thanks for the yeah, time resub. Uh, Hope you can join the ops not a whole kick lot. Out this. Not a whole lot, but uh, I I have to say just that. Uh, look, I know I'm new to the t uh, tier three, and that a lot of uh, eyes are looking on me on how I perform in a tier three op as a squad lead or some leading element. But I would really appreciate if uh, my decisions weren't challenged every five seconds. I understand the concern and everything. Where I don't get that in the lower tier ops, I get here. I know that hate stakes are higher, but it, it, as any single one of you can attest, nobody likes being drilled and uh, having every decision uh, challenged and uh, questioned and examined and whatnot. Like, if it's a bad mission, if it's a bad call, if it's something bad, like for fuck's sake, I'm I'm going to show up here and say, okay, I made a piss poor call and I killed us all. But so far, I didn't like just. You gotta don't... keep in mind, dude. These ops are not like these. This isn't supposed to be like herder riflemen is being led by squad leaders. Every single one of these people has been mostly quote unquote handpicked to operate individually they they're they're all individuals none of these people are just followers like they're going to ask questions they're going to give you suggestions they're going to be trying to help and maybe sometimes it doesn't help and that's your job as the squad leader of said team of to free thinking all, individuals to be like hey we're going to do it this way and they're like okay cool yeah uh, so it's your job to defend your plan if your plan sucks then they're going to call it out yeah but if I mean, something stupid enough. then they're going to call it out but I mean, you can't really get butthurt about, like, guys that are used to doing something no, no, no. in a different way. And... Okay, I'll just stop. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get your point. Uh, I was worried when I was phrasing this, uh, you what did I was find, saying. Like, no, I wouldn't worry. Like, you did find, like, certain things are not going to make sense and certain people are going to call them out. I mean, gonna have to deal with enough. It. It's called criticism. Like, Info route was a little bit questionable, dude, but every other decision that you made, like, was pretty solid. Like, I've always been an advocate of, like, leadership, it, like, by definition, is being second-guessed by everybody else with a mouth. Yeah, like, you gotta keep in mind, especially here, like, when in Tier 2 and lower stuff, it's all like, you know, they just, they're just here to shoot their guns. Here, it's, you got a lot of free-range thinking individuals running around, and it's, it's a little bit more of a leash you need to keep on it, but that's also, at the same time, like, you ask for suggestions from your team, like, hey, what do you think we should do here? What do you want to do here? Like, everyone that's here playing should be able to contribute to the plan productively and not just be like, ooh, I want to wear a fucking green beret. You know, like, like I said, there's a reason they're three and up. I mean, fair enough. Uh, again, maybe the thing is I'll, i will give a point both to you and as for this uh, for what you said like i it's a radical paradigm shift from you know lower tier ops where people are mostly going to go so just to go on that point uh it's a it's a very fair criticism and something you have to address uh that honestly this is just kind of like a life thing when you put a bunch of players who are really, really good at something in the same op, they're all going to be the best because, you know, they all have their own strategies and how they do things. So if you want to step up and lead said players, you have to be ready to defend your plan because everyone's going to say, okay, well, you know, I do it this way or I do it this way or I've done things this way and this works in this scenario or this works in this scenario. And you have to be ready as someone to lead all those people to go, hey, okay, that's great. That's great. We'll do that with that plan. What you just said, I get it, but this other thing would work because this, this, and this. And that's just a people skill that uh, you have to really develop. And that's something you can't really learn in um, a video game per se. That's more of just interacting with people. But, you know, that's why Arma is very unique in this because you have the logistics behind the, your, your little Call of Duty shooty shoot game. You know, you have to think about all these things. It's not just all, you know, on a... What do they call it? A roller coaster? A uh, shoot coaster? I don't know. What uh, what they call arcade games where you just, you know, go through place to place shooting that stuff. But I'm digressing here. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. I'm probably going to do an AT Grenadier training, a quick one uh, in about an hour. Might stream it, might not. Uh, I want to be quick about it because there's uh, an op I want to do at about 6.45 with the 79th or I'll just, or 89th, whatever, or I'll just spend some time with my grandpa. I don't know, but thank you again for watching. Operate operationally, take care, and have a good one.